folks, I'm Sean. And I'm Corrine. And we are from the Travels of Red Rover. We're glad you joined us today. Yes, we're travelers, adventurers, and photographers. And this week, we're off to photograph covered bridges in Oregon. Yes, we're in Lynn County, Oregon, which is east of Salem. And we're just going to check out some covered bridges in this area. Uh, they have quite a number of them and we've been able to research some of them via a website which I'll provide a link below. So we hope you enjoy the trip. Buckle up, let's get going and uh, enjoy the ride. Hi folks. In this video we actually surveyed three bridges. Uh, unfortunately the smoke in the area got very bad and we were pretty much forced to leave the area. We're here today at the Weddell Covered Bridge in Lynn County near Sweet Home, Oregon. And this is a typical construction of many of the covered bridges of Lynn County where they have the open side architecture letting light into the bridge. This bridge was originally constructed in 1937 and crossed the Thomas Creek. But after about 50 years, the route that people traveled bypassed the bridge and went across a concrete bridge and then this one fell into disrepair. For a while they thought that all history of this bridge would be lost, but the people of the area rallied together and got the support of a local senator and came up with a Oregon Covered Bridge Restoration Program. And this was one of the first bridges to receive funds from that program, which also helped for later bridges. The bridge was originally crossing the Thomas Creek. When the restoration happened, they moved it here to Ames Creek, and it's now located in the Sand Key Park. So it's currently just a pedestrian bridge that connects the park over to the schoolyard and it's open for people to walk through. It's a wonderful location. It's been used for weddings and events, and I believe they light it up for the holidays. So often when you're traveling, we find that we're in places where maybe the light isn't exactly perfect, and you end up with big fences behind you. Actually, there's a huge fence right behind green that uh, prevents you from getting away from the subject a little bit. So you have to get really creative uh, and try to find some images that will work uh, despite some of the light and uh, uh, physical challenges. You know, today, because we have this wonderful line going up to the bridge, Korean and I have been both using that as a leading line uh, into the bridge. We also have some beautiful clouds, big wispy uh, uh, horse mane or horsetail clouds up behind us here that really add to the photograph. So we're trying to incorporate things like that to make the photograph a little better. We also locked out a little bit, although it's very, very bright here. Um, there's a large cloud bank that the sun is starting to move through and it's uh, causing the light to be filtered a little bit, which makes it much nicer to work with. And then finally, the trusty polarizer. This is one of those days where a polarizer can be really be your friend, um, but you really need to practice with it because you also want to make sure that you're using it just enough polarizer to create some definition in the clouds up behind me here, but not so much so that half your sky is black and half your sky is blue. So there are some challenges with it. You want to have a just enough, but not too much. So those are a couple of the things that you might consider uh, when you're uh, uh, in, in a situation where you don't have a lot of choices uh, in terms of when you're going to be here, the lighting and uh, some of the physical obstacles.
So Corrine and I have uh, let a little time go by and the bridge now is uh, lit more and more from the side. So the sun is actually out that way uh, and it's lighting up the side of the bridge. So now what we're trying to do is do a little photography on the inside of the bridge using the um, highlights and lighting as the sun comes more in the side of the bridge. This morning, Karina and I are at the Shamanic Bridge. It's a bright red bridge, single lane, and uh, actually still in use. It's a very, very busy location. And uh, lots of traffic coming in both directions. So we're at the second bridge in Lynn County, Oregon, near the town of Shio or Skio or Skio, we're not quite sure how it's pronounced. And this is a unique bridge compared to the other ones because of its red color and different architecture. It's believed that the first bridge crossing this creek, Thomas Creek, was built in 1861, but uh, it wasn't until later that the first covered bridge was in place. This is the fifth covered bridge that they've had at this location. It seems that the bridges are susceptible to problems with weather such as high water causing problems on the piers or uh, trees falling on them and causing damage. This bridge was in, built in 1966 so it seems to have lasted quite a while. Uh, it's a busy location. There's two lanes of traffic coming toward it, but the bridge is a single lane. So those people who are traveling northbound have to yield to the southbound traffic as it comes through the bridge. So when you're trying to photograph a bridge like this, or for that matter any object that's kind of fairly straightforward, you really want to try to go and find some different angles. That's really what Crean's doing right over here. She's trying to find some different angles for the bridge and trying to get some different uh, location shots. Uh, and sometimes they really turn out, sometimes they don't. Um, but you really want to try to do that each time so that on that occasional time when you get the fantastic shot that uh, you'll be really proud of later uh, that you actually have uh, taken the effort to actually get that shot. Again, folks, 
We're here at the Staten Jordan Bridge in Pioneer Park. Absolutely gorgeous bridge. In Staten, Oregon. And unlike the other bridges we went to, which were in Linn County, this one's in Marion County. Now that's a funny story because it originally was in Linn County crossing the Thomas Creek, which we saw at a previous bridge. And this bridge, once the, um, uh, the main bridge was going to be replaced, the local residents uh, petitioned to uh, become owners of the bridge and moved it to its new location over here in uh, uh, the next county. And they got volunteers and the Corps of Engineer Reservists to help them rebuild the bridge in this location, which is Pioneer Park. Now the bridge has had a little bit of a uh, uh, up and down life. It uh, unfortunately burned to the ground here a number of years ago and had to be rebuilt again uh, and in this time uh, resulting in the bridge that we see behind us which has been reinforced and uh, obviously uh, built with a little bit more modern technology. But it's a gorgeous uh, design, lots of open uh, sides, which is typical of some of the other Lynn County bridges, and of course painted white like those other bridges as well. Yeah, it's also in a beautiful setting. Uh, they've done just an absolutely gorgeous job at setting the bridge in this park. Um, the bridge actually we're setting, we're standing on a second bridge overlooking uh, the covered bridge, uh, and it's all done just beautifully with large leaf uh, uh, maples and oaks and. Uh, uh, it's just a gorgeous setting. Yeah, we're here in the late summer and it would just be a lovely spot to come in September or early October when the leaves are changing color. We think it'd just be a gorgeous location. As you might expect, this is a popular location for photography, a lot of family portraits. We've uh, seen some people coming through today on the weekday morning to do some photographs with their kids in the bridge and with a professional photographer so it's a popular location and probably also really popular with the wedding groups. We've just done a small sample of some of the bridges in this part of Oregon to the east of Salem and it's just been a lovely experience. We'd highly recommend that you consider doing a covered bridge tour of Oregon because I think you'll enjoy it a lot. You'll see some beautiful bridges, there's some lovely countryside between the places you'll visit and there's a lot of nice small towns along the way as well. It's well laid out in apps and uh, on maps, so it's not hard to find them or to find a, a route through the bridges. We'll put a link to the article that we used in the description below so that you can read the original article and more details about these bridges. Well, we hope you've enjoyed coming along with us on this tour of some of the Oregon covered bridges. We've only done a small sampling, but it's a great trip. If you enjoyed the video today, please give us a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more of our videos, please consider subscribing. It helps us a lot and uh, we appreciate those people who have already subscribed. And as always, don't hesitate to leave us a comment in the comment section if you'd like to know when um, or have questions or thoughts about the video. And thanks for coming along. And bye, bye for, for now. now.